everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I talk all about being gluten free, having Crohn's disease, gut health and now pregnancy. So I'm 32 and a half weeks pregnant and I thought today I would just give you a little update and share what products have been helping me as well as the things in my hospital bag. So I'm going to start with supplements because I talk a lot about gut health. Lots of you have asked me what supplements I've been taking throughout the pregnancy and I haven't really taken that much but I would definitely recommend like I did when you first find out you're pregnant to get everything tested like your folic acid and your B12 and your vitamin D and your iron. I did that at my doctor's and that meant I could just check straight away if I needed anything in particular. I am taking a uh, Sparto which is a liquid iron which is much easier to digest so I'm taking that because my iron's a little bit low. I've wrote a review of this over on my blog which I'll link to below but I'm taking Simprove every day which is a probiotic and mainly for my gut health but there's also a little bit of research that says that it can help with things like allergies when the baby's born so every little thing helps and there's two more supplements that I'm taking which I've literally just run out of so I haven't got them to show you on screen but I'll pop a little photo I'm taking a pregnancy vitamin from Together Health uh, they're quite good because they're food based supplements and I'm also taking Bear Biology fish oil uh, they do a special pregnancy supplement fish oil is really important again for gut health and also pregnancy so those are my main supplements and one thing I'm absolutely living on at the moment which I'm sure you've lots of you are as well is Rennie's so I've been taking those constantly but other than that those are the main things that I've been taking in terms of products that I found really really useful this has been kind of my lifesaver over the last few months this pregnancy pillow so I know you can get bigger pregnancy pillows but I just found them really off-putting because they were too big so I got this one it was about £30 I think from Chico and I'll put a link below and it's really helpful because you've got this side for the back this side for the bump and you can kind of wrap it around so I definitely recommend one of those a few other bits that have been really helping is I've been using this on my bump pretty much every day. So it's a natural um, pregnancy specific skincare range. And this is a tummy rub butter. As you can see there's hardly any of it. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, but it's really, really helpful. It's supposed to prevent stretch marks. And I haven't had any stretch marks yet. And it's also really like nourishing for dry skin. And if you've got like an itchy bump. So I definitely recommend that. I've also um, been using Better You for ages and they kindly sent me a magnesium with my, my name on, which I was very excited about. Um, and this has been really helping me with sleep, so you just put a little bit of the lotion on before you go to bed. In the first trimester, I really, really struggled with cramp in my legs, like almost like growing pains. Um, and this really helped with that. So if you're struggling with cramping legs, I would definitely recommend that. And one thing I haven't tried yet is in my hospital bag, ready to try, is this that I was sent by my expert midwife. Um, I was sent it for an article um, I'm writing, but I thought it would be useful to share on here as well. And it's like a calming spray. Uh, it's more traditionally designed for people having a traditional birth that might have tearing. But because I'm having a C-section, they said that you can also use it on like the C-section wound. And it's just like a really cooling spray and it's got essential oil in. So I thought that would be really useful to have in my hospital bag. Another thing in my hospital bag that I've been loving is this face spray. And I thought it would be really useful to take to the hospital when you get kind of hot and bothered. And just some really comfy clothes. So I tried these a while ago for an article I was writing about maternity fitness. They're called Asquith, uh, organic cotton yoga wear. And I've packed one of their tops and one of their leggings in my hospital bag because I know I need something really, really comfortable. But those are the main things that I've been loving. This is my hospital bag if you're interested because I really struggled to find a good hospital bag. And I finally found this one in TK Maxx. It's by Skip Hop and I think it was £30. And I haven't fully finished the hospital bag yet even though I'm nearly 33 weeks. But basically, our antenatal class taught us to kind of not go overboard. So I've just got um, a few things for the baby, some baby essentials like skincare things, some nappies, uh, nappy wipes, and a few little items for the baby. And I'll just keep adding to that hopefully over the next few weeks. So those are kind of my essentials. I hope you found it really, really useful. 
A quick shout out, this dress was sent to me ages ago by a really nice company called Lily and Ribbon who specialise in maternity wear. So I'll link to that below because it's been really, really comfy. But otherwise, uh, let me know what kind of things are in your hospital bag and how you're finding your pregnancy. And hopefully I'll have another update before the baby comes.